I'm here with Dan McQuillan at Broadcast Bionics. Hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. I understand you've got something here that, well, I don't even know how to describe it. Why don't you tell us what we're looking at here on the screen? What we're looking at is radio production is now changing. It used to be that your program was over when you closed the microphone fader. Now yeah. we need to make content which is fit for multi-purpose, multi-platform. It needs to be searchable. It needs to be discoverable. So we're starting what we call object-based production. So that's where you can take just ordinary radio studio content, don't change the way you produce it, but fit it for all those different platforms and, and make it searchable. So what would a station uh, end up with? What's their end product after putting to use the techniques you're about to show us? So first of all, we end up with video automatically switched, but then having got that video content, we can share that on social media, but we can also uh, give it a longer reach if we allow people to just search for it and discover it. So to do that, we've introduced transcription so you can immediately find words and, and operate on words as if they were objects in time and space. It seems to me part of the end goal here is to be able to put the highlights of a show on social media for, I think you may refer to this as, as a long tail. People can share it and say, did you see what happened? And the, the best part of that is now on social media. Exactly, and to find that content quickly from amidst all the stuff you've got. So yeah. often you've got a whole week of, of shows and you need to make the highlights into a podcast or the daily highlights, et cetera. And right now that's a very time consuming thing. You have to go find the piece of audio, find the right video and assemble it. And here we can do that essentially in a text editor. Just find the bits you want, color them in with your finger and export them out as video and audio. So here we can see some video that we shot using our uh, visualization system. So here we're seeing camera switching from, a, from an Axia console. What we've done is after they finish this standard radio link, we take the audio away from the video and we send it up to the cloud to be transcribed. So if I rewind this back to the beginning, you'll now hear that as they speak, not only do we have text of what they said, which is uh, my favorite color, I felt it. Oh, oh. <laughs> not a fan of this one, are you not, Dom? So you'll see it's also following along exactly in time. So it's not just a script that's searchable of what they said, it's searchable in time. So uh, if I switch to another one here, we'll see that in this particular video, uh, he uses the word BP a lot, for example. Puts out there. How many men and women are employed by BP? So what is frequently uh, a task you might use this for is to go and find a particular segment of the video uh, so I can find everywhere he says the word BP. So I can start playing. BP puts BP, BP. BP won't block up. BP loader. BP is fun. BP puts out BP. Now, what's particularly fun is because that's actually an object and I know exactly where it is, I can make the object disappear. So now I'm going to take all the BPs away and replace them with a beep because let's pretend that's a profanity. Any idea how many jobs BP puts out there? How many men and women are employed by BP? So this gives you an example of what with objects we can do. So it makes it searchable and discoverable, but it also means we can extract just very specific pieces of audio. So I can now edit this just by jumping to a particular point, and then I know exactly where the edit's going to start. So rather than, who can read a waveform, right? So instead of using a waveform editor, I can just use a text editor and extract the sections that I want. Dan, I'm, I'm a little, I don't know what to say. This looks like it takes what may have taken a TV station a lot of time to do and make it part, just part of your radio workflow. Yeah, so we, we understand that people have to do this and right now it's taking a lot of time. So we want people to ignore the technology that we've shown you. You don't really have to know how it works, but just to understand that this allows you to very rapidly find content and repurpose it. It doesn't matter if it's lost in something you think happened a week ago or it's the highlights of what you did this morning. You can find it, you can extract it, and you can use it very quickly. So this is again about multi-platform. There's more that you need to do with radio. So we're taking multiple objects and recording them, uh, and then you can repurpose that content. So you can change the brand, you can take a one hour program and make it 10 minutes long. You can take a country music program and convert it into a rock music program. Wow, okay. You're gonna show us a little bit of workflow here, right? Yeah, so I'm going to do the world's worst radio link. So here we have a standard Fusion or Element console from Axia. We're using the live wire audio, but we're also using the telemetry from the desk. So all I'm going to do is open my mic fader, uh, and I'm going to be the presenter for the purposes of this. Because the mic's open, you're not going to hear anything, but let's open the hotkey fader, fire in a jingle. I need to talk all over the top of this jingle, so you'll see me uh, ride the fader. Let's open the uh, music fader, and now we're going to start this song. Uh, I can cheat, because I see I have 13 seconds. Uh, just to do a standard radio link. We don't want to break the simplicity of radio. Our, our unique selling point is we walk in a studio, it's fast, it's spontaneous, it's creative. So as far as I'm concerned, this is a normal radio link. And there we are, we hit the vocal and we've closed the faders. Now, normally in radio, you close the faders, the fun's over. You're done. That's, yeah. This is where the fun starts. Now let's go around the corner and have a look at that. So what we're looking at here, you wouldn't normally see. This is the multi-object recorder. This is monitoring everything that happens on that console. So I can see here when I faded the mic up, and I can see here I started a song and I closed the microphone. 
all I have to do is press this. So this is the telemetry you were talking about from the console. The Fusion console and Axie Element 2 gives you outputs that tells you exactly what's going on on the console. This has recorded those movements. And this is everything that happened on the console. You put EQ, we record the EQ. You put dynamics, you use different buses, you telemetry the fader, everything is recorded. And I just press this button here, and then all of that telemetry is now immediately in Adobe Audition. So the link that we just did is a multi-track file, and I can play it back instantly. Wow. So if we come over here, yeah. uh, and I click, you'll see this is where I opened the fader. So it actually starts recording before you open the fader, because we have a buffer. So here you can hear me talking. Now you see me open the fader, and now here comes the jingle. Now if you watch the fader here, that's my finger that was just around there on the console, moving up and down in real time. Now I've opened the fader for the song to start. Here comes the song. Now here's me ducking all over the song. In a second, you'll see whether I hit the vocal on the song or not. If I didn't, I can fix it in post. Everything you did is on its own separate track, just like it was on the console. Yeah, this is a multi-track recorder and for every radio. Every movement you made is, 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 this is like playing back entirely what you did, not just the output of it, but the things that went into that mix. Yeah, we call it multi-object radio. A catchier name would be the unmixer. Uh, so, you know, essentially we describe it as being, you make a fruit smoothie, you put in raspberries, you put in strawberries, you put in bananas, you mix it all together. What if you're allergic to raspberries? I can take them out. What if you want to make a cake just out of the raspberries? We can do that. Make a one hour program into 10 minutes, this does that. If I want to remove that jingle and swap that object for a different brand, I can do that immediately in this. Some people are recording programs in multi-tracks, so they can go fix it later. But this gives you a huge additional benefit, and that is not all the program inputs that went into that. Exactly, the whole craft of radio is captured by this. So if I swap an element, I might go for a shorter version of the bed, but I keep all the original fader movements of where I was talking over it. Oh my goodness. If people want to find out more about this and how the conceptually can help them out in their broadcast, it's, what's the website? Just bionics.co.uk. Dan, thanks so much. I'm Kirk Harnack for the Telos Alliance.